Good day. It's always such a great thing to join colleagues at the UNHCR. As you know, the alliance between the mandate of the independent expert and the UNHCR is one that I treasure because I know that it actually creates impact for people for whom both institutions matter a great deal. Forced displacement and internal displacement in particular are the result of exclusion, discrimination, and violence, oftentimes driven institutionally or through state-sponsored means. As of today, 69 countries still criminalize homosexuality, and many others criminalize same-sex intimacy between women and forms of gender identity. This is where we can do work together. The UNHCR and I have done wonderful work through the provision of information in relation to individual communications, where victims and persons with lived experience can inform us of possible or actual violations of their rights, and we can take action to engage states. Many individual and generalized structural situations have been addressed through these means. Perhaps the most widely known is the situation in the Kakuma camp, but many others and also many relating to internally displaced persons. Another mechanism is the provision of information for thematic reports. I'm very lucky that the resolution that creates my mandate asks me to work within intersectional approaches. And I therefore understand that it's the reunion of many identities that creates specific experiences of privilege or discrimination and violence. And therefore, I'm deeply interested in the particular vulnerabilities or disenfranchisements that are created by a person's migratory situation providing information that is relevant to people on the ground will allow me to give visibility to their violations against them. Finally, the role of UNHCR officers has, has always been crucial in the preparation and execution of my country visits. I wish I could convey to you the feeling of satisfaction and possibility that I get every time that I meet with UNHCR officers on the ground and the displaced persons and refugees that they serve, when I see that there are specific guidelines that are on the table being executed in relation to the differentiated approaches that can be adopted in relation to these persons populations, and communities. It makes a difference that persons with lived experience knows that their sexual orientation and their gender identity is acknowledged and that the realities that are created by them are part of an approach to who they are and how the international community values them as persons. I hope that your work will continue being the source of so much support to so many people around the world. As we just crossed the number of 100 million persons, refugees around the world, and countless internally displaced persons, I look forward to continuing our joint work. Thank you.